What's up, y'all? You're kicking it with the Junkyard Dog at JunkyardDogs.com. My name is Tony, for those of you who don't know. So check it out, man. I'm real excited. Today is the day we finally get to do the KBS Coding episode, all right? So check it out. So KBS Coding is a coatings company that provides us with all sorts of products to stop rust on our vintage cars and pretty much anything we want to paint. Um, I got some other stuff in here. I'm going to throw that paint on as well. KBS Coding has now become one of our new sponsors and they hooked up something for Project Mayhem. I wanted to keep the engine bay like a raw metal, but if I leave it like the way it is, um, it's going to rust. So hit up KBS Coding and they actually have a paint that looks like raw metal. So what I did was I welded up all the holes uh, and I also ended up um, using just a just a little just a little bit of Mondo just to smooth out the areas where a little just small little dips or whatnot just so that it didn't look so bad and so obvious that there's been repairs made there. Because to be honest, I'm not like an A1 metal worker. I can get the job done, but you know, it's just, you know, I'm just trying to do every I'm really a transmission guy. So you know, this is just me trying to do something, all right? So I am super excited about this because right after this, that means I can square my K-member and put the motor in the car. Whoa! Now, for all of you guys who are still wondering about the Junkyard Dogs caps, there it is. If you guys are interested, go to junkyarddogs.com right now. I got the different styles on there if you want to check them out and there will be more styles coming. So be patient with your boy, all right? Go ahead and show your support. All right, let's go! So KBS coating has an entire system to make sure that their seal works perfectly, okay? So you gotta make sure that you follow this to the T. If you want the excellent results that I'm about to get, you gotta use this system. So first things first, you gotta use the KBS Clean. Now KBS Clean is similar to something else that I use called Spray 9. It's a non-solvent based cleaner and it's water based and it is amazing all right so you can use this to clean up all the grease dirt oil anything else that's on the surface that should not be there once you do that and you get it all clean you're going to use this it's rust blast now what rust blast does is if there is rust on the surface it will eat it up and it'll make it kind of alkaline to me alkaline would be like i guess to explain it would be like a chalky kind of uh, substance now this makes the surface ex excellent for adhesion uh, for paint it's almost like a weird kind of primer this is the best way I can explain it. Then we got the rust seal, you know? Now, the rust seal here, like I said, we're going with galvanized steel. I can't wait to see what this stuff looks like. It's going to be dope. All right, first things first, we're gonna deal with the KBS Clean. So, what I had to do to the surface was, I had to get it um, kind of scuffed a little bit, so I took some uh, 320 grit sandpaper, and just kind of went over everything really lightly, you know, you don't got to gouge into it, but you know, you want to give the, the paint something to kind of stick to, especially with the new metal surfaces, because the front splitter is all new metal. This hasn't been touched by anything. It's never been painted over. It's just raw. So I have gone over the whole thing with some sandpaper, as you guys can see, uh, the little scuff marks all over the uh, part. So first things first, we're going to hit the KBS clean. So I went ahead and got these spray bottles from Lowe's and I did a 50-50 uh, mixture of the KBS clean. So before we get started, I went ahead and got some warm water uh, in this uh, mix up with the KBS and I got some clean steel wool. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the top and just clean it all the way down, all right? So it says to spray it on liberally, which I will. There it is. Kind of get all the grease get it to where so you can see if it already see grease coming up off of the surface. Then it says not to let this dry on. So the, 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 the secret for me with that is, is to, uh, I got another bottle with just water in it. And then I'm gonna use a uh, uh, air air pressure to dry it. Okay, so I cleaned the main part of the engine bay. So now, let's use some compressed air and dry it off. All right, so we got to the stage now where uh, we've used the KBS clean. We've completely dried the part off, which is very important that it's completely dry. Now we're gonna roll on to the KBS Rust Blast, okay? So this is super important to use. It's like a pre-paint kind of primer, but for bare metals. 
So a primer, which I use on the inside here, actually covers the metal. This actually has a chemical reaction with the surface of the metal. When you have a very clean kind of metal like I do right here, you're gonna keep blasting this for at least 10 minutes. Now if it's like moderately rusted uh, surface, you're gonna go 20 to 40 minutes. And for anything heavier than that, oh God, I feel sorry for you. You're probably gonna have to use like an industrial sprayer or something uh, to get it to kind of have the same effect. You're gonna wanna look at about one or two hours of like straight spraying rust blast. So uh, yeah, man, let's get to it. Uh, the surface is dry. Um, it's very important to not let this stuff dry onto the surface uh, because it will um, make it way, way too chalky and then it kind of will defeat the purpose of what we're doing here. So um, yeah, let's get cracking on it, all right? So it's 10 minutes, it's 11 o'clock right now, so at 11.10 I can stop. Just making sure to keep the surface wet with the rust cloths. So give it time to etch. So far, so good. When the chemical has like a reaction with the metal, it gives off this odor, you can tell that it's working. This is full blast, don't mix, with, mix this with water or anything. All right, so we gave 10 minutes of the rust blast. At this point, we gotta wash it off of water, wait for it to completely dry, and then we finally get to use the rust seal, which I'm super stoked about. Like, I don't think you guys understand how stoked I am about it. All right, so we've gotten to the part after all the prep that we are finally going to paint with the rust seal. All right, so check it out. I have a mixing cup. I have some of the number one thinner from KBS. Um, I have rust seal, I have two brushes here, and I had this little tool, little paint can, can opener tool they gave me, which I think is pretty dope. Now what I'm gonna use the spray on is this really cheap Harbor Freight spray gun. These things are amazing for jobs like this because you don't really care if it gets damaged or not. Like who wants to spend like $400 on a spray gun for it to be used with a rust sealant? It's really, really hard on the gun, you know, really difficult to clean up. So, um, I was also given a stir stick and told that this paint is very thick. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Ooh. All right. So it's got this kind of real silvery kind of consistency. This is exactly what I imagined it to look like, which is dope and this is really thick. I mean, golly. Oh yeah, it actually piles. So I want it to be more of the consistency of milk. So let's go on ahead, pull some of the solids from the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it in a mixing cup and then add some thinner. All right, so we're gonna take a scoop. Okay, so we're at 150 milliliters. We're gonna make it uh, 200 the thinner here. This paint goes a long, long way. That has been my experience. Pour it in there through this filter. And this filter is just to knock out any weird stuff. There it is. That is the KBS galvanized steel paint. Gave everything I can even look. Some parts of it is still wet, but it looks like it's gonna dry matte. Now any parts that I miss uh, with the spray, cause I couldn't probably go vertical or something. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the brush. And the good thing about this paint is the brush actually, um, it doesn't really leave any brush marks because this paint has this, it's kind of takes a while to set so it actually will even all the way out before uh, you see any brush marks, it's pretty dope. So here's the areas that had the uh, Bondo. Looks pretty good. Oh. So yeah, at this point, uh, we can go on ahead and uh, reinstall the K-member, which I am totally excited about. 
And once we get the K member back in, and we square it and drop that motor in. All right, y'all, so that's it. Uh, we went ahead and used the KBS coating on the uh, engine bay here. I think it looks dope. Uh, it's so smooth, it's coming out, uh, it's drying right now. But um, if we come back in a couple days, you're gonna get to see how it really looks because this paint actually dries with humidity a lot better than it does um, when it's dry outside. It's, it's, it, it actually reacts to moisture in a way that is usually bad for paint. So shout out to my man Randy for hooking this up. I mean, this stuff is like a dream come true, I swear, man, but it looks dope. It looks just like raw metal to me. Um, actually very, very close. It's got like just a slight little sheen to it. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, this is gonna be a great addition to our build, uh, especially when you see what we do to the outside of the car. You guys are gonna be like, yo, you know what I mean? So, um, shout to Randy, shout out to KBS. Thank you guys for the love, I appreciate it. Until next time, Junkyard Doggin', woo!